Little Baby Bella, the Belly Rub Pug. Once upon a small town that you'd miss in the blink of an eye while driving through, there was a family with a lonely pug named Benji. His pug friends, Inky and Sarge, had both recently crossed the Rainbow Bridge and he needed companionship. The family decided it was time to welcome another pug mate for Benji. Dad went onto the local pug rescue website to fill out an application. A few days later, they called to schedule a house inspection. Everything went well. Benji got along with the other dogs the rescue lady brought. The family showed how their home was pug-proofed and ready for another family member. Time passed. The phone finally rang one day. Mom almost didn't answer because she didn't recognize the number, but everyone was so glad she did. It was the rescue, letting them know a female pug around a year old needed a forever home. She'd been dropped off at a local shelter for unknown reasons, but the family couldn't pick her up just yet. She had to be spayed so that she wouldn't have puppies. They do this so people won't try to rescue a pug and then breed it to make money. It was a pristine day when it was time to go pick up the new family member. Mom and the kids piled in the car for the hour-long drive with a new bed and blanket just for their new baby pug. They pulled off the highway into the parking lot where the rescue lady wanted to meet and hand off the precious pug cargo. On the way home, they discussed her name. Tinkerbell is what the rescue called her, but that just didn't feel right. It was decided that her name would be Bella, which means beautiful since she was such a pretty pug. It was clear though that Bella didn't feel good. Come to find out, she'd been picked up at the vet's office and dropped off to the family immediately after her surgery. They wrapped her in the blanket and kept reassuring her that she was safe. Bella was lethargic and didn't seem interested in anyone. When they got her home, she got sick several times. Benji was disappointed that his new friend didn't seem to want anything to do with him. When she laid on her side, everyone noticed that she had a blue line on her abdomen. Apparently, this was from surgery and is a way for any vet to know that she'd been fixed. Understandably, she didn't want anyone to come near her since she was in pain. After a couple days, Bella perked up. Within a week, she was an ornery puppy keeping Benji on his toes, but still a little hesitant with the family. She might not have had a good history with humans. There was no way to know. Bella would take cues from Benji when it came to hopping onto furniture, sleeping, eating, and going out the doggy door, but not on getting petted. One day, Bella warmed up enough to hop onto Mom's lap. Mom scratched her back, pet her, and nudged her onto her side so she could rub her tummy. Bella enjoyed it so much she mustered the courage to roll over on her back. She was completely vulnerable, but trusting. It was as if an itch she never knew she had was being scratched. She loved every minute of it. Bella was hooked. From that point on, she started requesting more and more belly rubs. If someone walked by her, she would roll over on her side as if her stomach was being presented ceremoniously for rubbing by request. In the morning, she would stare at mom until she woke up. As soon as mom moved, she would roll over for her morning belly rub. After breakfast, she wanted a belly rub to kickstart her day. If they took a car ride, one of her favorite things to do, Bella would roll over on her pillow in the back seat and let the person beside her know she wanted a belly rub. 
After dinner, she would jump on the couch and put a paw on Dad's arm, as if she was ready to have a serious talk. As soon as he looked over, she would lie down for an after-dinner belly rub. If the family was watching TV, she would nuzzle someone's hand to let them know it was belly rub time. It was as if nothing in the world mattered but belly rubs. Wherever she was or whatever was going on, she always thought it was a good time for a belly rub. Bella especially loved going to the racetrack when her boy Zachary Tinkle raced. Anyone that came by to say hello was given the opportunity to rub her little round paunch. Everyone would chuckle and indulge her when she greeted them by showing her underside. She was gaining popularity for her favorite pastime. Life for her revolved around belly rubs. Belly rubs in the morning, belly rubs in the evening, belly rubs at night. Belly rubs here, belly rubs there. Belly rubs all around and everywhere. This pretty petite rescue pug had blossomed into little baby Bella, the belly rub pug. Little baby Bella, the belly rub pug, is available at online bookstores like Amazon. <music>